Today's home tour is exquisitely designed and I can't wait to show it to you. Stay tuned. It's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and today we are out in DeBerry, Florida and we are featuring a community called Rivington and this home, oh my gosh. So this is a floor plan that we have featured many times. It is an absolutely stunning and very popular floor plan by MI Homes called the Newport. It's absolutely incredible. It has a dual master option which they actually are showcasing here in their decorated model but decorated oh my gosh so they always seem to be a step above when it comes to the interior design choices um, and the interior design elements that they add to their model homes this one is absolutely no exception it is stunning so let's take a look at this newport floor plan and again this one is going to be shown as a dual master which means that ultimately the third bay garage that is typically included in this home will be converted to that second master we'll kind of reference that when we get to it okay so as soon as you've come in through the front door in this particular garage swing, garage swing meaning whether or not the garage is on the right or the left, depending on the way it looks when you stand at the street, this is going to have over to the right side, you're gonna have your dining room. This is beautiful. Remember, at its core, this is a rectangular room, but this is not a rectangular room. They have added so much depth and interest into this wall by these built-ins and the mirror treatment and the wine racks. Absolutely stunning, I love it. The colors are very different, they're very cool. The vibe is just off the chart amazing. And you'll see that as we go through this home. So right behind me is gonna be the butler's pantry and it's a long counter by the way. It's not just a short little one drawer, one cabinet counter type of a butler's pantry. This is a long space. You can see that there's four cabinets up top, there's four cabinets, two drawers on the bottom, plenty of space here, and then a large walk-in pantry across from it. So as we go in, I do want to give you a quick peek up because up there you can see that they've done the open stair railing for that loft area that looks down to below into the foyer. All right, so this right here, take a look at this trick. Do you see that they have added this trim work here in this pass-through and painted it a darker contrasting color? Again, super easy to do. I would think for most people, but what an incredible element. All right, so we are gonna take a peek over here real fast before we get into the main hub of the home. So back over here is gonna be the garage entrance. Remember, it's typically gonna be a three car garage. They use the garage as the sales offices for their model home, so we're not gonna go in there, but it is typically your garage entrance. And then as soon as you come in, you're gonna have your drop zone area, a great place for you to customize and utilize how you need to, depending on, um, again, your family, if you have little kids maybe you want a lot of cubbies and hooks for backpacks jackets shoes lunch boxes or maybe you're just adults living in here and you just you know want to have it a little bit fancier maybe a little coffee area all right let's take a look at this kitchen this is incredible and it's more importantly i mean we've seen this this floor plan many times but it's the design element and the color choices that are completely different and unique from anything i have seen in a long time i love this it is just very it's a very masculine cool modern vibe that they have added to this home and it's just incredible so take a look at the darker kind of the gold they've even got the gold hardware here um, and then again the backsplash that they have it's got an iridescent kind of a metallic feel to some of it as it goes all the way up they've also added the extra row of cabinetry up above again these are things that you can do if you were to build this home you can add those types of elements it's not normally going to be included but you can add it you can also have the opportunity to add the glass inside of your cabinet it, or you can keep it kind of you know covered like they have here gourmet kitchens things like that those are all going to be your options island space a nice big island you can see they have three pendants but plenty of room for four chairs nice big large sink here and then the dishwasher is tucked back over here now they've done a waterfall island here in their model home as a showcase home again something that you can do it's usually a pretty pricey option uh, some people love it and they once they see it they won't ever be swayed to go back the other way but in some cases, people, um, you know, they like the regular type of an island because it gives them more versatility. Okay, I'm in love. 
this is, I just told my husband, I said, this is what we're doing. This is happening. If you've seen our home for the holiday tour, you see that we have a room like this under the stairs for our puppies, uh, all three of them. And this is what I'm doing. I'm adding this cute little door here on a hinge. It's amazing, but a great spot under the stairs. If you don't have a dog, if you don't want to give them all that space and you need it for storage, that actually is a very large amount of space for storage, which in Florida is important in our homes because we cannot really use our attic space. Okay, so let's take a look at our dining area. So this is your informal, your day-to-day -day dining tucked right off of the kitchen because remember, you have your formal dining room up front right through the pass-through with the butler's pantry. So lots of space right here that's gonna look out to your oversized. Your big double slider takes you to a covered section of your lanai. And then we're gonna take a peek at that pool as well through the window here in just a minute. So here's your main uh, family room area. Again, lots of wall space, lots of interior design options. Now at its core, you're gonna have a textured wall on all of these walls, but they have really added some incredible things with some trim. They've painted it gold. They've got some wallpaper back behind it, some abstract design. They've added some pre-electrical for sconces. That is something, however, that you can do if you get to build from the beginning of the process. If you get to pick and choose when you're talking about your electrical layout, if you want to have sconces beside your um, the bed in the master bedroom, if you want to add some sconces here or maybe in your foyer, think through that ahead of time so that you can have it wired ahead of time. Okay, so nice big family room area. And then of course, if you do a quick peek out there, you can see that in a typical home site, which in most cases about 120 feet deep, this still gives a great reflection of, of the nice outdoor space that you have. All right, so this is um, continuing kind of with the pool theme. This is gonna be your door, your pool bath door, the door that's gonna get you to the exterior of the home. And you have a nice big full bath here, which is really nice. If you are a person that showers before or after you're in the pool, you've got the shower right here. And then of course, if it's just for guests, friends and family that are kind of hanging out and they need to utilize a restroom, there you go. This, however, this right here is what makes this floor plan so incredible. And I've had so many clients build this floor plan and they've built it with this option. So this actually is a second master bedroom. Nice, big, large bedroom. You can see that they've got a king size bed, oversized nightstands, plenty of space here for a dresser or a chest. They've even got a chair staged in here. But this is the nice thing. It gives you still a second full bathroom. And that's what not, it's nice because sometimes, uh, sometimes people will consider a second uh, owner suite or a second uh, master as an ensuite and that's a little bit different than an actual true double master or double a double owner suite this is going to give you the opportunity if you want the garden tub and the shower the privacy door for the toilet cabinet counter space a dual sink nice big closet so this is absolutely phenomenal if perhaps you need a bedroom on the first floor but you still have kids and friends and family that want to go up or if you um, are upstairs with your kids and maybe you have in-laws or relatives or guests that that kind of frequent you or need to stay with you for any extended period of time this option is phenomenal so let's go take a peek upstairs because just as exciting as the downstairs was the upstairs is just as incredible so again the vibe in here I love it the curtains every bit of it is just so different from anything we've seen lately all right so take a look at this because you know we haven't seen this a lot lately this is what we just these are your wooden balusters your wooden spindles here on your staircase a lot of times you'll see the iron ones and every Everyone loves the iron ones. That's a great um, option and upgrade, but there's nothing wrong with having the wooden ones. And I love that they've done that here in this home as well. Now, speaking of crazy things, look at this. This is a treatment that they have done. Again, interior, I don't even know. It looks like they must have painted the wall black and then they painted the edges of this trim. It's just a very abstract, cool treatment that they've done on that wall. It's amazing. I don't even, I don't even know how that concept was created, but it's amazing. All right, so when you come upstairs, we're going to go to that um, owner suite last. We're going to head over in this direction first. So this Newport floor plan offers you all of those bedrooms, but you still get this large upstairs loft, game room, flex space. Not only do you have all of this abundance of space upstairs, but you've got a lot of additional bedrooms, one of which you can make as an ensuite. Now here for this particular model, and I really love to see as many times as we have toured this Newport, which is also kind of like their Newcastle floor plan, as many times as we have toured it, the different ways that they have designed it is awesome. So take a look at this. this 
is really smart. One of my favorite things that I have seen builders do from time to time is um, that they create this extra, almost like a buffet area, because you have your, uh, in this case, it's a quartz countertop, and then you have all of the cabinetry back behind it. And by the way, speaking of that, did you see where this handle is, the hardware is? This is typically a door handle that would be right here to open. This is different, right? It's pretty cool. Would have never thought to do that. But again, really smart. They've added kind of, not necessarily a wet bar, but they've added the space. And again, the electrical for a fridge. Types of things that you want to think about pre-contracting um, with everything so that you kind of have an idea of what you want to do with that space. So this is a great idea to emulate. I even love that they did the floating shelves and they've kind of got a backsplash kind of vibe back behind it. Amazing. Okay, so let's take a peek over here. So this is, I guess, like bedroom four, I think it is on the floor plan, but this, particular bedroom allows you the opportunity to add the full bathroom in it so this is considered an ensuite so if you did not want to have this have its own private bathroom this would just be a larger bedroom but as it is you have a nice big bedroom with its own private bathroom back behind it and a nice big oversized reach-in closet so fabulous game room bedroom and then look at this okay first of all how smart like i just every time i think i can't be like motivated and energized um, and inspired i am so great uh, barn door effect here in this really large laundry room so that really i mean look how much space is in here washer dryer you've got plenty of room for cabinets up above and you've got space over here for your laundry sink but then what's great over here is that you still have plenty of cabinet and counter space as a folding table display organization whatever it is that you want to do remember those types of things are separate you have to add those in all right so let's take a peek at this bedroom back here if you have a lacrosse fan or if you are if you have a player again cute idea for the theming of this i love the treatment again that they did kind of with the zigzag uh and and the painted wall up to the ceiling that wraps around again very cool but at its core nice big bedroom this one's actually located at the front of the home and then right around the corner from it this is the other full bathroom that is going to serve as these two bedrooms the ones that we just saw with the lacrosse um, design and then the one that we haven't seen yet so this is a really nice um, oversized bathroom if you ask me I mean the amount of space between the edge of this cabinet or counter all the way over to here this is not a, t a narrow uh, hallway you've got more you've probably got three and a half tiles worth of an 18 inch tile so it's a lot of space now i want to point this out too because this is important this beautiful model home this is a laminate countertop <laughs> so that is one of the things that we want to show you you don't always have to bling things up to the highest level of a quartz counter you can still go with a laminate counter in some of these secondary bedrooms and do a more standard square tile on the floor and still give it a wow factor off the chart all right these are their ac handlers they've just added some decor right there this again super cute like a hiking exploring into the wilderness type of a vibe here in this room again Again, for interior design okay by the way you got to take a look at the bungee cords that they have kind of used as artwork around the room that's pretty cute all right so again interior design work super cool love the vibe at its core we have yet another bedroom with a nice big walk-in closet speaking of big let's talk about this owner's suite this is phenomenal this has always been one of the largest uh, owner's bedrooms with a lot of versatility so in this case you can see that it has a tray ceiling they've added the four additional recess lights but that's not what's going to catch your eye what's going to catch your eye is a really cool geometric design that they've done up there with what would essentially look like faux beams but they are not wood like you would typically expect they have painted them white so it just kind of blends in it just gives you that subtle energy the air up on the ceiling so a lot of space here you've got this big sitting area over here again thinking about your furniture plenty of wall space all around but over here you're going to have your sitting area back over here you're going to have the opportunity if you want to have a um, well you have a balcony that kind of comes right off of the uh, the master bedroom so it's a private balcony and this is going to give you a little bit better view of that pool that we were referencing earlier really nice and this is a great thing so when we talk about like balconies um, not a lot of homes have balconies by the way so if that and by the way I have a client where that has become kind of a non-negotiable that really eliminates a lot of floor plans that even have that as an option but the one thing you want to consider is what do you look out to if you have that balcony is it gonna are you gonna enjoy it as much if you're looking into your neighbor's house or if you're gonna look into conservation okay so here we are into the owner's bathroom and it is amazing. I just keep thinking there's money all over the walls. It's not, but it looks like little pennies and nickels and dimes. 
that's 42nd Street, isn't it? Um, anyway, uh, so look at the, the, the work that they've done here. So this is what I think is incredible. So the shower has that, that tile work all the way up the wall, all of that um, kind of the hexagon, uh, and it really is, it's like a copper and a brown and a gold and a silver all kind of nestled in there. But look what they've done back here behind the mirrors that go directly behind the sinks. They've added that same type of a Listello accent all the way up to the ceiling and then out of this mirror. So many of these touches that they have done are just, obviously they're done after the fact. In your case, it's not something necessarily that the builder can do for you, but it's a great way to inspire yourself to be creative and to think out of the box. All right, privacy door over here for the restroom and then back over here is going to be their very large uh, really, really, really large. I would say walk-in closet. It's really like a live-in closet. This is the size of another bedroom in many cases. And one of the things I remember, I don't work for a represent the builder, but I love that in all of their homes, they're going to give you a representation of the radiant barrier that they do in their roofing system, as well as how they fill the cell block wall with that foam insulation, making it a very energy efficient home. Okay. This home is amazing. So again, we have toured the Newport. If this is your first time seeing the Newport, I encourage you to go back through my YouTube channel channel and look at the other YouTube videos that we have of the exact same floor plan so that you can see it kind of from a different perspective. You know, we talked about the garage swing right or left as depending on when you come in, do you turn to the right for the dining room or when you come in, do you turn to the left of the dining room? That will help give you a better orientation of, of your potential home and which way it would work for you. The other thing is the different ways that they have done some interior design on the home. So if you're looking for that aspect and to, to look at all of the things that they've done here in the family room, like in this when they've added this great uh, kind of a bar buffet counter with the with the refrigerator over here but in other homes they've made it a really cool desk kind of like a home office or a homework zone so a lot of creativity not just in the floor plan itself but the way that they are using the artistry of those interior designers to really help you envision how you could work you know love and live in these homes and laugh in them you have to laugh in your home all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you loved this video tour as much as i did i am really astounded. I am always mesmerized by these model homes and this one definitely is going to leave a, leave an imprint in me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you're interested, please give me a call at 407-848-8042. Remember, I do not work for or represent the builder, but it is absolutely free to use me as your buyer agent to help you through this building process if you choose to build one of MI's beautiful homes out here in Rivington. All right, guys, have a great day. Stay safe, stay well. We love you. Happy house hunting.